today. I uh, felt like making something a little different. As y'all always know, I'm always freestyling. I'm always freestyling in my kitchen. I don't know what it is. I always get in the kitchen doing freestyle. So today, So today I am making uh, seafood stuffed mushrooms, stuffed mushrooms, seafood stuffed mushrooms, homemade, my way, you feel me? So I already kind of got the mixture together. I'm going to let y'all see exactly what it is that, uh, that I use to mix with them. Uh, I already got a... Uh, Got it kind of pre-mixed. I went ahead and melted my cream cheese. <laughs> Mason, not this weekend. Mason was with me for my birthday and Wednesday, and I had him last weekend, so I had him next weekend for Father's Day. Yeah. Baby Shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Me and Baby Shark will be together uh, next uh Next week for Father's Day, man. And we got t-shirts being made. You know what I'm saying? So, like last year, when Father's Day was messed up, we ain't gonna talk about it. This year, I'm getting official. This is like gonna be really my official first Father's Day, even though I had a Father's Day last year. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for that. I can't wait for that. So, um, what I am doing, is like I said, I'm making, um, I am making, um, homemade seafood stuffed, um, mushroom. So, right now, I have crab, lump crab. I have lump crab. I still got a ton of these little baby shrimp, which is what I'm using to stuff with everything. And um, crawfish. I am, um, so that's what I'm using. I got lump crab, crawfish, and shrimp. So that's what I'm using to stuff my mushrooms. Um, y'all give me one second. I'll show y'all what I got for my mushroom caps. Um, All right, so here's what we got. Here's what we got. So you got your crab, your lump crab. You got your crawfish. You got your shrimp, your baby shrimp, your small salad shrimp, right? Cool? All right. Over here, here's what you're mixing. I don't really measure, but you're pretty much going to do a tablespoon of each. Teaspoon, tablespoon of each. Uh, black pepper. I use the Creole seasoning since it has the salt in it. Um, my garlic powder, your Worcestershire sauce, and minced garlic. Uh, I also use green onions, chopped green onions, chopped regular onions, and bell and bell pepper. Um, one egg, your breadcrumbs, and 
soften up your cream cheese. I used four ounces of cream cheese. I didn't use eight ounces. I used four um, ounces of cream cheese, basically a half a pack of heavy cream cheese. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring this on in real quick. So I'm going to add the, um, the cream cheese in. Some breadcrumbs. I'm also going to uh, add a little cheese on the end of it. I don't think I want to put that on the end. I want to put that. So I'm going to top it with Parmesan. So at the end of it, once I finish making the caps, when I finish stuffing the caps, uh, I'm going to coat it with breadcrumbs, like a breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese mixture. And then uh, I'm going to put cheese on top. Then I'm going to coat it with breadcrumbs and a Parmesan cheese mixture. And uh, I'm going to mix a few bacon bits in. If you don't eat bacon, that's fine, you know, but I'm putting a little bacon in mine. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. This here, you just whip it. Just get a good mix on it. Mix all your stuff together. But you want to soften the cream cheese up. So it'll smooth out. And you just kind of want to whip this until it's kind of smooth. You can use a blender if you like. Make it easier. I like my whip game though, you feel me? So, right now, I say you just get you a good mix on it. Like I said, if you're using a blender, it'll take it a little, it won't take it as long. And you mix it up. I got my jasmine rice already on. Uh, you also want to preheat your oven for uh, 400. After you get it nice and mixed in, these are quick meals now. Remember, a lot of people be claiming they don't have time to cook. As you can see, I come in here, man, it really don't take me that long to cook this stuff. Um, it don't take me that long to cook this stuff. So, remember, like 30 minute meals usually. Now, once you, uh, I say get it mixed, Let me get some more of this water out of here.
So I'm just squeezing the water out of my crab and the shrimp and crawfish, getting as much of the water out of it as I can. And then you just kind of take it, kind of just, what's the name? You don't want to break it up really bad. This is a lot of, uh, this is a lot of mixture. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably save some of this. You can also use this particular stuffing uh, to go in if you wanna stuff some fish or stuff some chicken breast. You know what I mean? Like if you take the chicken breast, like I like making crab stuffed chicken breast. I haven't showed y'all that. But um, when you take, you take the, the nice big chicken breast and you take the real meaty part and you just cut your little slit in it. And once you make this mixture, you just kind of stuff it off in there. And then put your, uh, put your, uh, put your toothpicks in to hold it and, uh, and let that be that. So now you're just gonna take this and you're just gonna gently fold it in. You don't wanna do too much. Because as you know, the crab meat is real, real gentle. And you just want to fold it in. Fold it into the mixture. And what I mean by folding in, as you can see the motion that I'm doing with the spoon, just take it and just fold it in. Alright. So this you can actually also like how I make my seafood bombs. You can use this mixture and just whatever you got left over. Make some little some little cakes out of it or some little bombs out of it. Also I'm gonna give y'all a little something. A little something extra with this recipe, right? You wanna add a little zing to it, that little pop of flavor. You wanna add that little zing, a little pop of flavor to it, like I should've did when I was a name. You just put your little ranch dressing in it. But I should've put this in when I was mixing. But you just put your little bit of ranch dressing in there. And um, so now, once you finish that, once you finish stirring it in, now I just fold this ranch in. Just kind of, what's in there? I don't want to mix it. It'll get in there. But I should have stirred it with the, uh, when I was mixing the actual, before I folded in the crab. I'm just folding it in. All right. Okay, so now that this is done, now I folded everything again. You got your breadcrumbs, you got everything mixed into here. I'll show y'all what that mix looks like in a second. Natural butter. I don't use fake butter. Use natural butter. Put about a half a tablespoon of butter in there. Along 
All right, so let me show y'all what we got. There's your mixture. That's your crab, crawfish, shrimp, green onions, regular onions, bell peppers, salt. Well, I use um, just a pinch of salt, which I use the um, the um, Tony's Creole seasoning for that. Uh, black pepper, garlic powder, and minced garlic, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and uh, like I said, with this one, I folded in bacon bits for added flavor. And a little ranch, I say about, I say about a tablespoon of ranch or, or more, it depends on you. It just made, it actually made the consistency a little looser because at first it was really tight. Um, so now it's a little looser. Um, we'll sit the mix there. Now here's what I'm stuffing. I got caps. You can actually take the regular, um, the regular um, mushrooms, the baby mushrooms or whatever, and you know, take the stem, de-stem them all and everything. But I, I use, actually, I'm using the big caps. So these, these are going to be really big stuffed mushrooms. So you can use the smaller, the smaller mushrooms uh, if you like. But like I said, once again, I'm using the caps. I'm using the caps. I just break the stem out of it. You can just really just take your hand and break the stem out. The little remaining part of the stem, just take it and pop it and it'll pop right out. Right? Of course you want to wash them, just rinse them off. Put a little rinse. Peel that little rim off. All right, so now that you got that peeled off and everything is done with that, Oh, excuse me. But y'all gotta check me out, man. 
I haven't loaded anything on my YouTube lately, but uh, I got a lot of videos saved that I'm about to load. So y'all check me out, man, on YouTube. Like, share, comment, subscribe, man, from the bricks to the birds on YouTube. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. It ain't gonna, ain't gonna take nothing but a second of your time, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I love you. I'll be doing my project soon. My contractor comes this week to uh, check out my basement so I can get it framed, get the sheetrock put up and everything. Um, so I can go ahead and get started on this basement project. So, you know, stay tuned. Got a lot more designs, got a lot more stuff coming up. I got some real crazy ideas for this basement. Graffiti walls. All kind of stuff I'm gonna be doing down there. So like I said, check out my YouTube, man. Stay tuned. Like, share, comment, subscribe. From the bricks to the bird. You see the hashtag. Uh, some of y'all are on that actual page. You can add that page. You can check me out on Instagram. But the goal is YouTube. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Right? So I'm going to push something in here. Going for my little Mahi steaks off in here real quick. And then I'll stuff the caps. Because we need to go straight into the oven. So by the time I finish, um, by the time the mahi finish sauteing, the cap will be done. Rice is done. Alright. So let's get these cap stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and line my, my baking sheet with my foil. So let's get the stuffing. All right. So now we got the caps. As you can see, I put the rest of the stem out, took the ridge, took the uh, edging off of it. And, you know, y'all know I like to get my hands dirty, so. Sure it's nice and stuff down in there.
And this is really an all seafood stuffing. You feel me? Except for the cream cheese, which is which actually helps to fill the um, which helps to fill the um, which helps to to basically make the filling. The cream cheese. And just kind of mash it down in there, fold it back in, and bring it a little closer so y'all can see it. Mash it down in there, fold it back in. I just want to make sure it gets in the cap, like fully down into the cap. And what I'll probably do, like I told y'all before, I'm probably going to save some of this because this is actually a lot of stuffing. So I'll probably save some of this and uh, make y'all some uh, seafood stuffed, um, some stuffed chicken breast. All right, see what we got. I said these are these are actual caps. You can use the regular mushrooms. All right, y'all, there we go. I did seafood stuffed shrimp last week. Um, you must have missed it, but uh, they're on my page. Check it out. So I got a little bit of stuffing left. as much as I thought so it's not as much as I thought I was gonna have left so I'm just gonna make two little seafood balls out of it voila Yep, got enough out of that to make three seafood balls. Three little seafood balls. It ain't gonna hurt. So now what I'm going to do, I'll show y'all what I got. And now what, I, uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little small coating of, uh, of uh, not if I'm going to put the cheese on them first.
Cheese is done. I made three. I only had three caps. Uh, the pack came with three caps. Just portobello caps. Uh, so the pack only came with three caps. So I only made three mushrooms, three stuffed mushrooms. Seafood balls with the cheese, but my God. Seafood stuffed mushrooms, top with your cheese, breadcrumbs, and I almost forgot, but while I got y'all right here, here comes the Parmesan cheese. Get it. Seafood stuffed mushrooms, crab, shrimp, crawfish, cream cheese, onions, bell peppers, green onions, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, and a little ranch. Put them in the oven for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes on 400 degrees. Preheat your oven at 400. 10 minutes. We ready to rock. So what you do is you put them on, once you put them in there, you let them broil for 10 minutes. Then you take, no, you let them bake, my fault, you let them bake on 400 for 10 minutes. After they bake and it, you know, get, after they go ahead and cook, you turn around and you actually broil it for like a minute or two. You turn around and you put your oven on broil and let them broil for like uh, two, three minutes, just enough to brown them, just to give it that nice little golden brown on the top. Uh, Outside of that, everything else is, is done. My rice is done cooking. Uh, while we were stuffing the while we were stuffing the uh, mushrooms. 
I went ahead and let the let the uh, mahi saute on one side, just on low. I didn't even have the heat up on it at all, but just enough to let it saute. So now we can get back to the mahi. Go ahead and turn this up. Nice little butter and olive oil mix to blacken them in. I'm gonna flip that back over. The grease didn't get to that enough. Not what I want on the bottom side. Flip both of those over. Get them a little more in the grease. This one is how I want it to look. The other two I want to let blacken a little more. Uh, now we're up on medium heat. Let those blacken for a few minutes. Um, rice is done. And I am done. Stay tuned for the pictures. Once I plate this thing up but it is not going to take that long to, um, to cook. We got about, oh, we got six and a half minutes left. Black it, mahi. Stuffed mushrooms. Them some big guys too, boy. Ooh, woo, them thing gonna be good. Jasmine rice. And guess what for tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, curry goat. So I'm gonna make me some curry goat tomorrow. I'm gonna put it in the I'm gonna put it in my slow cooker tonight. So I'm gonna make me some curry goat. Burn my curry. Um, <clears throat> sear my goat, and then put it in my in my slow cooker. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's eat. Y'all be safe, man. Stay tuned for the pictures for this recipe and many more. Check me out on YouTube, From The Bricks to The Burbs. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It don't take you but a second. It ain't doing nothing but showing a little support. Motivation for today is Hustlers coming soon. Be on the lookout for that. I will have hard copies and an ebook online for that as well. Um, YouTube, from the bricks to the birds. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Instagram, Facebook. Y'all know where to find me, man. Y'all be safe.